2022 and we see the first official World Championships for gravel taking place. We're in Veneto in the northeastern side of Italy and the conditions are absolutely stunning. 20 degrees C, very little wind indeed and this is going to be an incredible race. So tomorrow enjoy the day, enjoy your race and just you have to finish with no regret, no if. You give what you have. A lot of girls really want to be here in your place. The, the first hill comes pretty quickly. I, I mean, it must be after maybe 60 meters you start to climb. So I didn't know what to expect because all gravel races are super different. I knew this one was going to be super fast and it was for sure. It was also like a really tactical race. Like I felt like I was racing in road. Then uh, we went underneath a bridge um, on a walking path and something happened and they put on their brakes and so did I and I hit the deck so hard. It took me a while to get up but I was okay and I went for my bike and my bike was stuck in the fence. I think like five or six minutes went past and by that time my race was kind of over but I, I knew I wanted to finish. And then the second descent was great, and then there were still only six of us left. And then there were six of us for quite a long time. And then one breakaway happened, um, and I totally missed it. I was really bad place, really badly placed. But I still felt amazing, and we were a really good group, and we were chasing them down. Um, and then at kilometre 101, I had a blowout puncture. Um, I got back on my bike, and I was like, right, okay, just finish. You know, it's the World Championships, so you're going to be top 20 minimum. So off we go, but you know, when something like that's happened to you, when you've had almost the perfect start to a race and you're feeling amazing and everything in your year has come to this, you're just empty. So yeah, it was a mixed feelings when I finished because I was so happy, I had so much fun. I love European gravel because there's so much going on but at the same time I wanted to leave everything uh, in the course but I didn't but I did leave the spirit of gravel which is having fun everything can happen and like yeah in a general sense I think we can really get behind cycling and its development and how it, it really is improving and it's great to see and it's great to live through <laughs>